Hello everyone, this is Helen H and welcome to my channel, Moss Cottage. I hope everyone is doing well today. I am doing a hashtag Thrifty Thursday, which is sponsored by Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming and I will leave her information below. This is an open collaboration just to show what you have uh, gl uh, gleaned for your, your crafting that is thrifty. So this is actually a book haul, but I, besides just showing you books, I wanna show you why I get specific books. And a lot of people do that, but I'm, I'm just gonna go into it. So this was a two book set here, and um, it's got this cool box. I don't know what I'll do with the box, but I can. I, it's really heavy. I mean, I can barely squeeze it this way. It's a, a super heavy box, so I'm probably gonna keep that and do something with it. But if you can see, this was a Reader's Digest and um, just a, a, a two book Reader's Digest. Now these are the smaller ones, the ones about the size of your hand. And these are the ones I use for the journals that I sell. And um, when I do them, I cut the covers off and just use the covers and then use a ring binding. Um, and then I do cut the um, Ex Libris, the, the first flyleaf page off and use it in the, the journal also. The other book that came with that set I've already got into. Now this is not a book that I'm going to, or a journal that I'm going to sell. This is one that I um, I am doing uh, that is Robin Murray Smith uh, inspired and I think I showed this one before on one of my last videos. It's going to be like an art journal but um, it's not I haven't started doing a whole lot to it yet, but um, I'm going to be covering this. This is the one I'm going to be covering with Birdie's uh, chenille fabric. So these two were the two books that were in that one set. So um, love these covers. Now I don't. I try. I've done this for so long with these covers. I try to get the interesting ones. I try not to get just the plain, like single color ones. Although sometimes I have to. Okay, so the next thing I got, oh, and let me tell you, this book sale was at the Hands and Harvest where my cabin is, the li annual library book sale that I went to three or four times, I don't even know, because they had boxes of books under the table stacked on books, so you couldn't see, so they just kept replenishing, so I, it's since it's right in the middle of town, I just kept going. I love these big books. Um, they are Walter Foster. Um, I love these. Now these are like about watercoloring. Um, this one's called Watercolor Workshop and it's got all different pictures and stuff. Several reasons I like them. They're big. Uh, they're big pages so you can fold them. You know, you can fold them sideways to make a journal. And they're nice heavy paper too. So they really hold up well if you punch holes in it or, you know, whatever. But I just love the pictures uh, in these also. So this one is special effects in watercolor. And uh, so it's got all different kinds of pictures um, in it. And these are actually big enough that you could do them sideways also in a journal this way. You know, if you don't, if you like your pages all different sizes, which I do. So look for these uh, how to draw and paint books. Um, I always buy these when I see them and sometimes you'll be lucky enough to find a floral one. Then I saw these books. These are called um, This Fabulous Century. This was 1910 to 1920 Time Life Books. So I have to assume that there's a whole series of these and they just had two. But look at this cover. It is fabric and it's just awesome. And then it's got this black spine here. But bonus, I mean, this will make a great art journal cover. But the bonus is the pictures inside are fabulous. It's a whole book of black and white pictures, cartoons, drawings, all kinds of things. Look at these fun pictures that are going to be used in journals. So this one again was 1910 to 1920. And then the other one I found was this one, which was 1900 to 1910. Again, fabric, beautiful fabric cover, and then filled with these, look, these awesome pictures, right? Advertisements, all kinds of pictures. Look at her, she's fun. She's a Gibson girl, like the Gibson girl, I guess. 
a look at these ladies at the beach. So, so fun. So all kinds of pictures. So if you can get books that are the cover's great and the pictures inside are great, that is truly a bonus. Truly a bonus. Okay, so next I got this book. And all of you would have grabbed this one. It's Wildflowers of the World. Um, and yes, it is just pictures like this. The whole book is just these fabulous pictures of wildflowers. And these are from all over the world. So if you wanted to do like a theme, uh, a theme book on, you know, a sp specific area of the world or like beach flowers or tropical flowers, you know, there's certainly enough fodder in here. Absolutely beautiful. So these, again, can be used in journals. Nice thick pages. The book itself is plain red, so this can be used like for an art journal. This one I think I would actually um, paint on or something like that. So this is a bonus, the twofer, because uh, the cover's good and the, the pictures are good. Um, so love that one. And all the, the books, the hardbacks were $2 and the paperbacks were $0.50. Cents. Then I got these two. Again, these are, they look like uh, the Reader's Digest, but they're not. They're about the same size. This is just a, I don't know, just a book, but look at the cover on this. This is why I bought this one. Now the inside is just paper, so... It'll be gutted. Uh, whether I use this paper, I don't know. I've got so much. You know, when I go through all these books and cut out all the insides, I can't save all the insides because I just get too many. And then this was the other one um, of Human Bondage, Somerset Mom. And again, it's just the cover on this one is so fabulous, right? Okay. So then I got, I'm just reaching behind me here. Okay, I got this uh, coloring book, and this is, this is I don't know, Mindy uh, coloring for everyone. Now, I do love coloring books to use in my junk journals, um, but I try to look for ones like this where it's really not that um, layout specific, so you could use it as a shorter page this way, or you could use it this way, you know, fold it in half this way in your journal. You know, if you have something like a giant elephant in the middle of your page, it's really hard to use that in a junk journal. But these ones like this, because, oh, like this, okay, he's going to be super hard to use in a junk journal. Um, because no matter what you do, if you fold him this way, you've got his hiney on one page and his head on the other, or you fold him in half this way, and then he's side, you know, he's definitely sideways, which it doesn't always bother me, but like with an elephant, and he would just be oddly placed on the page. So I think this is really cool, though. So this is Mendy, and I think like there, I think I have one that's like mandalas in, in my stash already. Okay, then I got, um, oh, no, here it is. It's this one, Mandela, same thing. Coloring book with uh, pretty designs that can go any direction. Oh, look, and they even give you some coloring uh, guidance here. These pages are really cool, too. Or, you know, these can be cut out and used as embellishments for something, right? Really cool. I didn't realize that. Okay, so that's cool. Then I got some, uh, let's see here, can I get more of these? Yes, hold on a second. I got, oof, this big stack of ideals. So this is the treasure of Christmas and it's religious art. This is not the typical one, although ideals does have um, uh, Christian uh, themed art in it. This is just for Christmas and it's just Christian themed. So I got that one. Then I've got the Ideals Friendship. Now, if you didn't know, they can, it's not just Ideals. They come in different categories. So this is Ideals Friendship. So all the poetry and pictures and stuff in here are going to be kind of geared to friends. This is the Ideals Mother's Day. Same thing, you know, um, geared to moms. And look at the beautiful pictures in these. They're just so pretty. I love ideals. And then this is another Mother's Day here. Great picture. Sometimes they even have uh, recipes in them, sometimes not. Here's an ideals Thanksgiving. And these are all in really good shape. Very nice. 
here's an ideal country, which I haven't seen the country one before. So this is just all like rural and country things. Really pretty. And then, oh, here's another ideals country. See, I saw the stack. I just grabbed the whole stack. <laughs> Boys in Clover. Isn't that cute? Oh, my gosh. Look at this. So that's that one. And then here's an ideals Christmas, which I these are my favorite. I love the Christmas ones because I love Christmas. I'm like a big kid when it comes to Christmas. So, yeah. So a stack of ideals. And those get those get used for journals and stuff. Although these are in such good uh, shape, I might put those in my antique booth and sell those. All right, then I got this Garden Flowers coloring book, another coloring book. And this one, let's see, in the back, do they give you the, also that key? Is that what I just saw? Where did I see all those flowers? I think they give you a key in the back. Oh, no, it's the back and front cover. So this is like a nice heavy cardstock. These can be cut out and used on cards or something like that. Look, there's all these and then all these. And then these are the flower uh, pages, <coughs> excuse me, pages here. Yeah, okay, then I got this. Now this is different, historical floral and animal designs for embroiderers and craftsmen. This is a pattern book, but I thought it was kind of neat. The pages are, um, yellowed a little bit and they're nice and sturdy so these are patterns for people who are doing some kind of crafting like embroidery I think or toll work or maybe even some um, can be used woodwork look at that cute picture of the deer and the rabbits isn't that cute now this one definitely can be folded in half because the deer are going the right direction so that was kind of I've never seen one like this before so I thought that that was kind of cool Cute little strawberries right there. All right, so I got that one. Then I got this one on the uh, last day that I went. It's called Bathing Beauties French Fo Photo Postcards from the 20s. I'm not using it for the cover. The cover's just a paperback cover. But inside is just chock full of pictures of Bathing Beauties from the 20s. And since it says bathing beauties and postcards, there's the postcard images as well. So like her whole background, can you see, is all postcards. But these are fabulous. Here's another postcard image. This is just such a fun book. For 50 cents, I was like, yes, please. And you know, I can use this for beach themed something or just splattered here or now, you know, here or there in my journals so so cute and a ton of fodder ton of fodder in there so i got that one then i got uh let's see here okay buttons this is just a collectible book now if I have a collectible glass book, and I just recently used a page of it in one of my pieces of artwork, these collectible books, depending on the subject, are full of fodder. Now, I got this one. Look at these buttons, these button images. You can either fussy cut them out, or I do have dies uh, that are different, that are round in different sizes. I can't, even if I'm cu cutting around here, I never can get it even close to round. I don't know what my issue is, but I'm going to probably die cut these out with my uh, machine. And I, of course I'll have to fussy cut like that, but it doesn't matter if it, you know, that's scalloped. It doesn't matter if it's so perfect, but this is just full of images of buttons. And look, even these cute little figural buttons and what have you, um, these can be just cut out, you know, they can be just like that, cut into the square, and those used in a little journal. Look at all these cute buttons here, and look at these button cards. So cute. So, I also, in my antique booth, and I think I might pull them out, I have some books on um, vintage handkerchiefs that also have great photos in, or great images in it. So I'm thinking I might pull that one out too and um, just use some of these images because they are so wonderful. So look for a collector's guide, like the antique collector guide books too. All right, then this one is a must 
Every time I see this book, I buy it, the I Spy Book of Christmas. This one goes into the December dailies I make to sell, and the images in here, look at this, are just all these bears and toys and stuff. The images in here are just so fantastic. I just love these. And they're nice, big, heavy pages. Um, Look, here's some, some sock monkeys, just as cute as can be. Now, the I Spy books, oh, this is my favorite page. Look at the ornaments. Oh, my gosh. So these make great journal pages. I Spy makes different kinds. I This is the Christmas one. Um, I know they make, oh, look, all these ones on the back here. Um, so they make all kinds. So look out. Now, these are going to be probably where the kids' stuff is, this I Spy thing. But I'll tell you, one year... I had taken this to the antique mall when I still worked there as a clerk. And I was taking it to do some fussy cutting or something. And I thought, well, before I cut it apart, I'm going to do it. Because you're supposed to find it. They gives you a list of what to look for in the picture. Oh, my gosh. The, the lady that was working with me and I, we couldn't do half of them. We couldn't find half those things. That's not easy. <laughs> Let me tell you. Okay, so I got this bread machine recipe book. I have a bread machine, and I, I just wanted to expand the recipes that I can make from my recipe or my bread machine. Um, and as soon as I decided I wanted to start making other recipes from the bread machine, I could no longer find any bread machine books. They were everywhere. I saw them all over until I decided, oh, I needed one, and then I couldn't find one anywhere. So thankfully, among all the cookbooks they had, they had that one. This is uh, Ma's Mountain Recipes, and this is just like for simple recipes like biscuits, country biscuits, all different kinds of uh, biscuits, puddings, stuff like that, applesauce cake. Um, so these two, I actually are gonna, am, I'm actually going to be using for myself. Then I got this one, this Wildflower Flowers in Color. This is also going to be for myself because this is for identifying plants. Now, you can certainly buy these wildflower books. They're everywhere and, you know, cut them up and use them. I have tons of these that I can cut up. But this particular one, because the size, look, that's a goldenrod on the front. Um, because of the size of it, it's nice for me to have to uh, throw in a backpack or something if I go hiking. All right. Oh, look, I got two of these. I didn't realize. This is that, that pattern book again. But this one looks different. Does this have different pictures? It does. Okay, so this is another one of these pattern books for crafting. I think this is different pictures in this one. Maybe not. I can't, but I, I, it, no, no, it's the same because there's those deer. Okay, so I have two of those. Bonus. Okay, I didn't know that. This is what happens when you go two days in a row. I didn't have my books with me. Golden books. Yeah, now I don't make journals from little golden books. I haven't done that. I have a ton of golden books already that are probably could be taken apart because they're not in good condition. I might be selling these because these are in very good condition. So I've got the Prayers for Children, the Animals of Farmer Jones, and, you know, of course the images in these are fabulous. And if you can find them, you know, and even if the uh, cover's not in good condition, sometimes the pictures inside are worth it because you can use them for ephemera or, you know, journal pages or envelopes or whatever. This is called the bar Jolly Barnyard. The Gingerbread Man, that's Richard Scarry. So cute! I bet that's adorable. His his his. Uh, look at this! Look, look at this frog smoking a pipe. How cute is he? <laughs> Peter Rabbit, J Jimmy Cricket. These these ones here are older. This one, Jimmy Cricket, Aeroplanes, Roy Rogers, the cow and cowboy Toby, A Day on the Farm, Scruffy the Tugboat. The Little Red Hen, and The Story of Jesus. And some of these are really old, but I think all of these, because they are in really good condition, I look, there's not, no child has drawn in them or anything, and their spines are really good. These are probably going to be sold in my shop. Okay, now, another book that I'm going to be keeping is this Wildflowers of Shenandoah and the Blue Ridge Mountain. This is Indian Pipe right here on the front here. 
Um, just because I live near the Shenandoah Mountains and I love Shenandoah, this is again another um, identifying book that you can look to find uh, plants and stuff. So this one I will use to, to uh, identify, but again, beautiful pictures in here that you can use. And you know, even something like this, this one actually might make a nice cover uh, for a journal. Um, I would cover this up. If you couldn't take this sticker off, you know, I would cover it up with something. But um, this is a nice hard cover too that uh, I might, you know, if you were going to take that apart. Okay, we're getting down there. Okay, so I got this one. This is Audubon's Birds of America. Now, they had a huge book of Audubon Birds of America. And I already had so many books. This was the first day. I was like, oh my gosh, I can't lug that thing around. Plus, I already have one of those. Well, I didn't get it. And then I thought about it and I thought about it. I was like, well, I'm going to go back and get it. Well, somebody else already had it. So, this is Audubon's Birds of America. This is a small, little book. And look at the pictures in this. Look how fabulous they are. Really nice. So this is going to be used for, um, I don't know, little things in maybe journaling cards. That's my phone going off. It's on my other desk. I'm not going to get it. Um, journaling cards and things like that. Oh, it looks like there's birds actually on both pages. There are, so I'd have to decide which one, which one to use. But anyway, so that's that. Only two more books to go. These are little hardcover books, and the jackets are going. This is the House of Seven Gables. The jackets are coming off because look at these little books. And this, okay, this is this one's killing me here. It's Persuasion by Jane Austen. Uh, I have a copy of Persuasion. This is very small writing too. I think that this is gonna have to be gutted um, be, and used for the cover. I love Jane Austen. I have all of her books, um, but look how cute these are. These are absolutely adorable. There's no pictures in it, but this would be great words to use, uh, great text to use because it's, there's nothing foul in it. You know, you don't have to look to see if there's anything, you know, you don't want on there or you know, behind somebody. So this is going to be great to use. So that's it. That was my huge box of books. I actually did take some books already to my antique booth. Um, and um, they're, they were huge table, uh, what are they called? Coffee table books. So this is just a couple of the books I got from the thing, from the book sale. And just remember, look, check for your library. Some libraries have free books all the time. They have a place for free books. And some, most libraries do have at least an annual, if not biannual, book sale. And the prices are so cheap, you can just go and just restock. And I think what I'm going to do, some of these books that I'm keeping to cut apart, I'm going to actually get rid of some that I have that I'm not that fond of and replace them with some of the ones that I really, really like. So guys, I hope you like this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I ask that you do. And until the next video, I hope you're all truly blessed. Bye-bye.